It's a thousand yeah. Spider Mans is crazy. He can't though. get yeah, around bro. a thousand yeah, Spider Man. That's 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 I ain't gonna lie. That baffles me. I don't like it. You seen the last one when they had three? You don't see what happened. That's the thing. You don't see what happened. Wow, you lucky I don't have no water. Welcome to season two of Iman Amongst Men, the show that takes an honest look at what it is to be a man in today's world. We don't shy away from topics most people are too afraid to talk about. We're going to take it all the way there. It's season two, y'all. Let's get it. Welcome to Iman Amongst Men, presented by Uninterrupted. I'm Iman Shepard, here with my big brother, Ari. Ari, go and give a what's up to the people. What's up, people? My name is Ari Shepard, and today we are joined by one of the brightest young stars in Hollywood. He also plays Jack on Blackish, mm-hmm. Miles Brown. Give what's it up for him on? one time. What's going on? Appreciate y'all. Ow! <laughs> Appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all. Of course, man. Welcome to season two, man. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a new set, man. You know, before we just had a back banner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before yeah. that, we had a green screen. And yeah. You no, know, nah, I'm playing with <laughs> yeah, no, it. Was, I've been seeing, right. though. I've been seeing. I'm, 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 I am I'm. came here. I'm like, okay, this is, okay. Yeah, the level yeah, up. Actually, oh, what'd you thought? You thought it was going to be like a garage? No, no, no. Because oh, okay. cool. I'd be oh, watching. No, I'd be watching. That's what oh, I'm saying. Okay. This is dope that I'm able to be here and just kind of be in this, in this new. Yeah, this new let them know. Yeah. This ain't no bullshit. Like, yeah, come on, man. Nice <laughs> <little setup. laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got a garage door. You know what I'm saying? We can play loud music. Yeah, I've seen. I see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we play loud music, man. Yeah, like, it's like do. a cookout. Yeah, it's yeah. actually a, a cool vibe. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, you got your mother here, right? You know yeah, that's man? my mom. My mom yeah. in the background. Hey, ma. Hey, ma. Give it up for right, mom. Shout out to give it up for mom. Like, woo! Right. Yeah. 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 Chaperone at his finest. Shout out to mom. We love applause here. Yeah. We love applause yeah. here, especially John. Especially John. <laughs> and good moms. <laughs> yeah, we love good moms. We love yeah. good moms. The theme of today's episode is growing up on stage. Uh, I know that's a familiar thing for you. Mm. Um, when you hear that phrase, what, what comes to mind? Um, I mean, normally I think of, especially because I mean, I, I started really young. I know a lot of people that are my friends, they, they'll start kind of around the age I am right now. But um, it's kind of something I've always been used to, but never really uh, understood because I didn't really come from that even though I'm still young but I never was born into it and I kind of worked my way up just kind of as a kid uh, so kind of growing up on stage I've seen both realities of just being a regular kid versus just you know how I, I'm you know being on a show now but um, it's a little different experience because I know a lot of kids that I'm friends with who don't who aren't in the industry like that it takes some time for them to understand what kind of happens between my career or how things go and I can't go to public school, private school the same way they normally do. So it's a different it's a different process that I don't think some people really often process and, and understand, but it's 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 crazy. You so yeah. you're a homeschool kid? Yeah. 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 I got I got homeschool kids. How y'all, is it? Y'all are pretty cool. Of course, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, we not lame at all. Yeah, dude, dude. you've been <laughs> homeschooled your entire. Not my entire life. I, w- I started homeschool because I remember. I think Blackish season. I think season three, season three. I think I started because it was, things were got a little too busy for me to kind of try to do public school and Blackish at the same yeah. time. So I went. I think it was my my fifth grade. So ever since fifth grade, I've been doing homeschool. So Damn. didn't do a real middle school, high school. So. That's a whole. That's a whole experience. That so. How do you graduate? Yeah. What's your? You still go with them to graduate? Well, graduation. The, day? the high school I'm with, it's a it's an online, but they're still gonna still have a ceremony, like a st- like a like an in person ceremony. So that's crazy. I didn't think they was gonna do that. They don't have no prom, no nothing, but they have a they have a graduation that's right. ceremony. That's so that's I'm gonna be able to do walk, the walk and everything. So that's yeah, gonna be fire. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. yeah. You gotta be able. To ha- ha- yeah, have a little down. bit of the experience. Yeah, gotta, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I was worried we was gonna do it on Zoom. Like I'm gonna walk by my computer screen. Like. <laughs> Oh, I was worried you had to do it like that. Bro. Yeah, that's that's did that. I yeah. wouldn't have attended. If I would have had yeah, to do exactly. that, Yeah, exactly. You can't I'd attend, really. You just... Or do some funny shit. I'd have, exactly. Yeah. I did the walk just down. Just climb out. Like I'm going down. Uh-huh. The climb I'm out. Shady. I'd have did that and then came, yeah. out the, came out the whole outfit. I would have just some weird. I wouldn't even join that. Oh, you should have so. dressed up as Spider-Man or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I could put my green screen on, whatever. that's why they ain't doing that for y'all. That's why they not doing that. Because they know they're going to show They know y'all going to put a green blanket behind you and call it a green screen. Oh, yeah, they're going to make it a show. Yeah, it's gonna be a show. To walk by Gotham no. City or something crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. We yeah. already got his mind going. <laughs> see, look. Yeah, oh yeah, so. I forgot. You really got a graduation coming up. That's crazy. Yeah. When, when yeah. is your graduation? I think it's on June, June first. Oh, sometime, shit. sometime in June. That's so wrong. I graduate. I graduate. Congratulations, bro. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, you got the finish line, man. More applause. Yeah. 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 A little something. A little something. 
Uh, what's it like uh, spending your life, well, half your your young life, um, working on a show like Blackish? Like, what did you what did you learn about yourself? Um, it's crazy because I think, like, I feel like you did a bid. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, don't really laugh, Miles. <laughs> For real, gotta know though, it's like, when not to laugh and shit I like got that. You, I got I'm you. just saying when you when you that that yeah. amount of time isolated away from being a regular kid, so to speak, like okay. you're not yeah. you're not inheriting any of the stuff that regular kids like all the yeah. like it could be literally ten thousand kids that all just took a test that all are processing. This analogy, yeah. bro, the is same really, thing. <laughs> it's got my blood boiling. Why? Because you talk about a bunch of kids, like you got me now thinking about prison. Ah. Oh, but you get what I'm <laughs> saying. I like, get it. Yeah. But, ah. I was just saying like ah. it's a long time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying yeah. it's I'm a sure long it wasn't time. like jail miles. No, Not it wasn't at like all. that. It yeah, wasn't like that. It was it was the opposite, I think. For me, at least, and I know <laughs> it. <laughs> no, you gotta say it. That. It was the opposite. No, no, no. For real, for real. It was the opposite, just because of. Um, I think for me, because like I was saying earlier, I joined while I was still kind of living as a real kid, and then I kind of tra- made that transition. Um, I think it would have been different for me if I wasn't, and I kind of was born into that. Mm-hmm. But um, I think just spending time on a set or working growing up kind of made me think of the, the, the bigger things that are kind of going on, especially what, what the show talks about. Um, and I think a lot of, a lot of those topics and, and, and things that go on throughout the show, I mm-hmm. learned about because of me being on that set and around those people. So I don't think I would have had knowledge about certain things that go on currently. Like what? Um, that's incredible. Yeah. yeah like yeah, what? We, we've had episodes like about, you know, police brutality, a, a episode called hope. Um, Juneteenth, which was a crazy episode moment yeah. for us. Yeah. Mm. Juneteenth was um, fire. There's a, there's a lot of things that we kind of touched on that I think kind of raised me and some of the other kids on the show awareness about certain things. I don't think we would have gotten if we never worked on it. So That's I'm glad. Cool. I think a lot of kids who probably watched the show learned a lot of stuff from the show, and, I, and I'm glad that I was be you know I was able to be a part of something like that. So That's dope. yeah, that is yeah. That's you worked with a lot of uh, a lot of big names on that cast. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I don't even have to go name, go yeah. through the names. Shout out Anthony, yeah, there Tracy, you go. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, That's legends, crazy. man, yeah. legends. That's crazy. It's crazy because it's like them yeah. What, what, <laughs> yeah. what did you like? What you learned the most? Like, who did you learn the most from? Or like, who helped you the most? I, I learned from everybody on that. I mean, I learned from everybody who even wasn't in the names I just said, mm. but. I mean, I think the thing I learned most about them, because when I first met them, I was, you know, starstruck, like crazy to meet mm-hmm. them, work with them. Um, and then over time, it just became like my second family, like being able to see them. I seen them, I think we did a study over the last nine years, I seen them more than half the time than I see my real family. Um, kind of like how you would be if you was playing or on the road for mad mm-hmm. long. Um, and I think it was just, I kind of learned more things from acting into actual personal life by them. And it became a thing where they stopped giving me advice about acting or about the industry. They they started, you know, wanting to talk about how I am personally or how I am growing up. Um, and I think that's the biggest things that I've learned. I've learned from everybody though. So every every single person has given me different insights on on different things, whether that's the industry, growing up, certain things like that. You so. think that's important for a show, like for you to start yeah. actually feeling like family? Yeah, easily, because you can tell when you're watching the show, you can tell by the chemistry that we have on mm-hmm. set. Um, it's just crazy because it's, it's weird because now that I'm done, now that we're done with the show, now that anything else I would work on, I'm gonna always think of how it feels compared to working on that set I feel like just because of how comfortable it's like it's like a team like you work with a team for so long you build that chemistry it's like it's it's second it's second nature yeah. whenever you any any time you guys step on a set together so um for anyone else that was definitely the best best cast I've ever worked with Dumb. I think I think it's ever it's it's always been crazy every single time nothing nothing crazy's happened um the chemistry is always there it feels like our lines are just every time we go back and forth on the line it's natural so yeah yeah since you spend so much time with him, has there ever been a point where you come on set and you just like, man, like I'm not, I don't, you know, had a disagreement or you don't like somebody or? Um, no? Not for me. I mean, that's just things that I kind of, kind of always happens with any type of family, mm-hmm. like any any type of topic that it goes into. It's still a job at the end of the day. Um, so things still have to get done, but I don't mm-hmm. think it's ever been anything too major that's gone on between any of the cast members, but 
at the end of the day, anytime we would get into disagreement about something or where mm -hmm. something should be, how mm -hmm. things should be done, it's like we still have a thing to do. We still want to accomplish the best for what's for the show. Um, and I think we've always gotten past it, especially because things like we always hang out after after we work and and after we, we go see each other at award shows. Like I just seen them. I think it was at NAACP Image Awards we just went to. Um, and it just feels crazy every single time seeing them, no matter no matter if there's a disagreement, argument that goes on, which there really isn't. But if that were to ever happen, it's we always come back after because it's it's just a family type thing that we that we have between each other. So, yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah. What would you say is uh, the biggest thing you've learned that you're gonna take with you uh, from the entertainment industry if you leaving from? Cause now it's like leaving from that set, you're like reintroducing yourself in yeah. other avenues and taking on new jobs. Yeah. So what is it that you're taking with you? Um, I think the main thing is just to be myself whenever I'm in an industry that requires you to try to portray yourself as something that more than you actually, more than that you are. Mm -hmm. um, Talk about it. I think because, you know, kind of me going into it, witnessing some other people who are in the industry more, it's like I'm I'm on the outside looking in. So going from that to anything else I do, I'm always keep that same that same personality because like it kind of hit me, I think, really when I had to leave my school to do homeschool because mm -hmm. I remember I left and I had to tell all my friends that I'm going to be doing a TV show. They didn't really understand what that how that, you know, that process works. So they're like, you're going to be gone. You're going to be gone. You're going to be coming back. Um, and I think that thing really hit me because now it's like. I'm gonna be living a whole different life now, mm -hmm. and I don't want to. I don't want to become a different person than how I was before this. So anytime I do something new after, I'm gonna always try to keep that same mm -hmm. that same mindset. Try to stay a kid no matter what, and um, just try to always be humble, be grateful for anything. So mm -hmm. not not take anything for granted for sure. Like That's the main thing. Stay yeah. grounded. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Would that would you say that same thing for you? I'd say it was impossible for me to not be grounded. Yeah. Like just. My family growing up, like we just didn't, our father didn't have that in him to just care about the entertainment world. Yeah. Like it was almost non-existent. Like mm. I knew basketball, I knew the game, but I didn't even know, like I didn't know they talked for yeah. that long after a game. Yeah. Reviewing yeah. all this stuff, critiquing, yeah. like I yeah. didn't know about any of that. Like, yeah. I'm like literally the moment the game is over, like we run out the room and start yeah. conversation. You think it's about gonna be one game. thing is they change, they make it a whole nother thing. Yeah. yeah, they talking about something that happened while they sitting down or in the yeah. locker room. It's like, bro, I never even knew that existed. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, the Bulls right. won tonight. <laughs> good night. Right. Like, right. good night, guys. And it's right. like, I think growing up like that, uh, and having our father, having my brothers to talk to, like none of them are gonna wake up and tell me about anything entertainment. Yeah. So I stay really grounded in like family oriented things. Like yeah. our conversations, like you, what, what, you talk to auntie, you know what I'm yeah. saying? What she, yeah. what she said, what they went over there, they cooked. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's exactly how it would be, right? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah. when I talked to my little brother, he's like, no, nah, I wouldn't know. I was supposed to go down there because I was supposed to take something down there <laughs> right. for Pia. But I mean, right. if you got it, matter of fact, keep it in your book bag so you can right. get this to Ari when you see him. Like that be yeah. our conversations. They don't never be about anything I got going. Like unless yeah. they see it on Instagram or something. Yeah. Or we we chop and they they like all right, I'll post it so I could uh, you know support you. But right. They don't yeah. really give yeah. a fuck. Yeah. Like they be yeah. like, we don't yeah. care what Damn. you do. We love you. In a good way. No, in a good yeah, way. Yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. that's what made it yeah. raw for me. I'm like, yeah. I need y'all to stay that way. Like they don't. Yeah. I don't come around my people and they be like. Oh man, you're so dope! Like they yeah. come around, and be like yo, ugly ass, come here, right, man! Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> right, and it's right, forever right. gonna be like that. Like I, I think if you keep those, it's genuine, the best to have it really like that. Yeah, a a balance them, of both, uh, if that makes genuine sense. Genuine yeah. friendships and relationships around you, I think you can stay like that forever. Talk, yeah. Like, I think that's how it is with me and my friends because most of my friends I still have from when I've before I even did my yeah. before I even did Blackish. So. Um, even even with friends that I've built over the years, it's still always been keep keeping the the industry separate from the relationship I have with somebody or my family or something like that. So I'll they'll support me even if I play in a in a YMCA basketball game mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with no type of promo or press or anything like that. Did you film so. somewhere that you you filmed <laughs> away from school? Like were you out of state to film? No, we filmed we filmed in Burbank. We filmed here. Okay, so yeah. 
when you were offset, like your off days and stuff, where you were still hanging with the friends that were going through schools. Yeah. So when I first, so you was like yeah. the, the like, yeah, a little bit. Well, that was no, yeah. he been in Chase a high <laughs> yeah. school. Like that's what he ain't got to do yeah. the shit y'all do. Like yeah. that's basically yeah. what it is. Basically, what happened was this was before I you went Ferris and did Bueller, man. Basically, yeah. every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bueller. This was this was before I started doing my online school. So this was like the first two three years mm -hmm. of the show. Um, and this is actually a crazy story because I tried to, this was, this was a thing where I knew it kind of what you were saying earlier, where my parents, they wanted me to still have that same, that same life of going to school, trying to be a regular kid. Mm -hmm. Um, and they knew over the years it was getting harder cause my, my grades was getting harder and harder and they needed to do more, um, classes. Once like, once you get to middle school, you got multiple classes, you got five teachers mm -hmm. that you got to communicate with. So, um, yeah, so what happened was, you know how, I forgot the term of it, but when, you know when you leave school for a certain amount of time, you want to go on vacation with your family or something Sabbatical, like that? Right? Uh, something like independent studies, that's what they call it, independent ah, studies. So I, I was had going, that in college. Yeah. Get you an independent study. Yeah, wow. but changing. the thing is, I used to go on independent studies for like three months span. So it'd be a three month span, my teacher would give me work for that whole three months that they would do. Mm -hmm. So I would come, I would come back with all of it done one time, you know, when, from when I was away, come back and she would have to grade all of it overnight, like staying overnight after school, trying to mm. grade, trying to catch me up. So it was a thing where it was tough for the school because once I, if I wanted to do middle school, I would have to do that times five, five different Jeez. teachers trying to do that. Right. And I'm just speaking on elementary. So I'm, this not even, this they is like, really this is third hire, grade math right now trying to, you know, so. But they would have had to hire like somebody else yeah, specifically exactly. to grade yeah. for you. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it just made wild. it, it made it tough for the school. So they didn't, I'm not gonna say they kicked me out of the school because I was, I had a mate, I had one of the best grades, but um, it was just a thing okay, where they knew like, it was. Right, 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 <laughs> right. Okay. right. Um, I like that. But it was just a thing where it was just, it was just getting stressful and complicated, but that was a that was a thing. So anytime I would come back, um, I'm glad my my classmates or, or my, 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 my friends in school would still treat me the same. So it wouldn't be a thing was like, oh, you you came back from doing the show or how how was it? And they, they wouldn't even ask me questions like that. They'd be like, yo, this just happened at the school. Check this out. Yeah. It wouldn't even be about what oh, I just came just back from. You in. Yeah, exactly. So that was um, I was glad it was gonna be like that. I never really even even thought of it being the other way around because I was so young at the time. So yeah. I didn't think it was. I didn't really think of oh, how you guys wild. was thinking. Yeah. So it that's just brought me wild. in. It kind of. I just it assumed. Kinda, no, yeah. I assumed he was getting fun. Like, no, this is my yeah. life. Oh, yeah, no. so I'd have been out there like, I no, I wanted, I assume yeah. you wanted to do the acting shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I always wanted to be in entertainment because I started off. I started off as a dancer, so I started off as a dancer. Um, oh, big, big question for the set. Yeah, was that your first love? Would you call it the first love? Dancing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It took you yeah. a while. It took yeah. you a while. Well, because like I said, I, it was either I always loved dancing, I always loved playing basketball, wanted to be in the NBA, oh, still so want to be in the was NBA. The first love. Um, how this would was, I? Uh, what you say, is, mom? This is the what you think? Basketball. Oh, okay, yeah, basketball. Okay, okay. Basketball is first love. Still, still is. I'm, I'm still gonna make that NBA. I ain't even worried about it. <laughs> you got, I ain't even hey, worried you about got that. all the time in the world, my boy. <laughs> right. <laughs> they let yeah. the, they let the ball <laughs> in, boy. They let the everybody in. I'm serious yeah. though. This is the yeah. time in in yeah. sports. So it's like if you could put that bitch in the hoop. Yeah. To. Yeah, I'm, I'm they saying. Will find you. They I'm will saying. come get they you. Put, come a, yeah. put a TikTok up. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. From anywhere, do something crazy. Yeah. Put a TikTok up. So yeah. don't come get us. Yeah, mom, so. <laughs> mom. She know. Don't dunk on mom. She know. I know. I he's dunk used, on mom all the time. I know nah, he's used to a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's used to a trailer, but yeah. So I would say basketball, and then I did dancing around the same time. I didn't really start acting until I was around five or four or five years old because I went from dancing then did like background stuff for like commercials. And then it, 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 more and more, they would start requiring me to start acting a little more. So um, me and my mom and my dad, we just had a, a conversation about kind of fully transitioning into acting. Um, and I think a year later, we just, it just got blackish. That was a, it, was, it wasn't even that much longer later, it was crazy. Did you have an acting coach in that time? No, I never went to, I never did acting, never did acting school. I, I've done improv classes, but that was after blackish. So you just woke up like mm. that? Um, I get. I mean, I don't, I'm not the type. Of, <laughs> you like, I don't want to be a Beyonce line. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to be that line. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, 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 right. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. Me. It wasn't more like that. I think why they wanted me on the show is more because of how I was outside of acting. Just mm. my energy and my personality outside the show. You like just fit what they needed. Yeah, like once we cut the energy that I had around there, I think is what they liked the most about me. Still to this day, you can probably ask them, the best thing about me wasn't, I'm not gonna say it wasn't my acting because that was the main reason why I was on the show, but 
um, why they picked me is probably because of the energy and the personality I had outside of that. That's so dope. yeah, I don't, that 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 you can't really do with the acting coach or or, uh, or improv classes. Type no, thing. I tell you, we me and him, we know yeah. a bad energy when we get yeah. around it, and we <laughs> will make the interview very you know move along. Is it, is it, yeah. I got bad energy. I'm like, I no, got no, bad no, energy. no, you got great yeah. energy. Yeah, I'm just good. saying, yeah. like we, we wouldn't would, be smiling, yeah, at all. Yeah. Like we yeah. stop all the laughter, yeah. Send it to a couple you. awkward yeah, silences. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tell him no. to take off his hoodie. For real though, you <laughs> do have yeah. a dope energy. You don't have a, a, a thank you a, a mindset that's that's troubling. Like yeah. if I was if I was in the crowd in support of you, I wouldn't have any issue with anybody asking you anything. Yeah, you you seem well versed. Yeah, you seem like you ready to take on whatever comes at you. And yeah. I love that for you because yeah, thank you. It's a lot of young men that sit in that chair, especially when there's an interview type style yeah. setting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And some of these questions they get asked if they're not ready and they wear it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. And it's like, yeah. though, one, we not gonna put you on the hot seat yeah. to do nothing of like that because that's yeah. not what we into. <laughs> right, right. But right. there's some people that literally just the lights and the cameras, everything can change how they give yeah. it up. And we love that you sit here confidently, mm -hmm. yeah. relaxed. It don't seem like you got some shit to hide right. behind your back. Right. Like right. there's some people that might come yeah. in with two fingers crossed behind their back. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know I why you crossing you. the I motherfuckers. But yeah. they crossing them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, I, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> But I just love I love somebody yeah, no that can so, Yeah, nobody did that. But uh, <laughs> I'm about to be like, who y'all talking about on this show? Okay. No, nah, but yeah, it's <laughs> just I, I just love people that can stand in the space yeah. and uh deliver uh, a message. Cause like I said, you are our youngest guest. And yeah having you give perspective, uh, just to touch on that, I ain't been to high school. Oh done, my God. I done did a, a yeah. couple of high school stories of basketball and shit, but I don't think yeah. I could put myself in them shoes unless you made me reminiscent of the moment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's dope. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna, don't worry, I ain't gonna make you feel nah, like you a good. little kid and shit, but I do need <laughs> yeah. to steal some of your superpowers. Yeah, no good, you, know you, you I'm, good. I'm starting to fall asleep <laughs> earlier and shit. Like, <laughs> you already know I'm there. Man, yeah, I, don't yeah, I fall asleep whenever my daughters yeah. fall asleep. Like, whenever they go out. That's, that's the goal. He said that's, that's the goal. That's the goal, right? No, the goal, is, that ain't the the goal, goal right? is outlasting them. That's, that's it. Yeah, you just gotta yeah. outlast them. So you can them. get yeah. one thing done. Yeah, yeah. Just one I thing. I just wanna wipe the counter. Yeah, right there you before, go. Yeah. Right before I they go to sleep. pass the fuck out. Don't worry, you got time. <laughs> what was the uh, your yeah. family dynamic growing up? Speaking on uh, families, like what's, um, the, what's the, the role that your parents played in your success? They played the biggest role. I mean, from my, my dad, because my daddy's an artist. He's a, he's a, he's a musician. Mm -hmm. So kind of having his his, his partake on on certain things that he's gone through mm. um and then my mom just being like you guys see right now mm -hmm. she's her her and my dad have both and my sister have been the most supportive people um throughout anything i've done whether they whether it's basketball acting dancing like they've they've always been there they've always tried to encourage me like i stayed up with my dad till like two in the morning doing this audition like trying to work on trying to work on how i'm gonna make sure the character is the best way like they're always they're always trying to make sure i'm i'm doing at my best so yeah I, they they know I don't cry, mom. You good? <laughs> <laughs> I can sense it. I can sense it. Um, but yeah, they're they're always they're always my biggest supporters. My my I don't want to say number one fans, but they're always yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's that's, that's, real. The, that's the that's the that's the term hey, I guess. As a but, parent, no, as a yeah. parent, I could tell yeah. you, bro, we are yeah. fans of y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. fans, fan yeah. out, number yeah. one finger, all that yeah. shit, yeah. proudly. Yeah. Like that's yeah. next to none because that's hard to do. Yeah, like oh, and yeah. and everybody don't. Yeah, everybody don't have cheerleader parents yeah for real like i know and i don't mean cheerleader in like the woohoo form like i'm in, yeah. I'm saying cheerleader as far as like we're in gonna do everything thing, yeah, yeah like we're gonna do our job on the sideline and let you do whatever you're gonna do on the yeah. floor it's like two different teams like yeah we don't play ball we don't know how to do none of that we don't know yeah. how to do that what we do know how to do is exactly make sure you exactly. get a ride to practice yeah <laughs> make sure you're at your extra this yeah. make sure you got money for the extracurricular yeah. For y'all, uh, they putting the team time. warm ups. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You know the time. that's like, facts. I mean, that's... It, 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 it could even be a thing where my one of my parents wouldn't know the best answer to give for a certain situation. Like I might be doing exactly. a, I might be doing an audition or or something that has to do with the meeting or whatever that they might not know the mm -hmm. the right answer to, but they're they know what what is best for them to help me with anything. So All that's right. that's what they first go to. So I'm always love them for for that and just how they support me. So they ever did did the acting thing for you? like like where you're like how do I, how do I act? Like you can't, you don't know how to make a certain face, and you're like, "Mom, how do I do that?" And she just put on it. a show for I'll, you. I'll try to do it, especially with more of my dad when he does, you know, yeah, try to help me with that. He'll try to do it, 
he, it may not be the best, but I know what to take from it and how yeah, to and how to okay. do it like he that. So, and he knows, he knows, he may not do something the best when I'm asking him. Like, <laughs> like how would you do? How would you laugh when you do when I say this? Uh, <laughs> and he may not do it the best, but you know, he, he it's still, I, I, you know, That's I'll mirror wrong. exactly what he does and, and do it my own way from That's it. So, wrong. yeah, That's yeah, wrong. I wish I had yeah. <laughs> grew up doing what you call. I, I would kill to see my father do an audition. <laughs> like just like, oh, reading lines with you, like, yeah, just yeah. read lines with me, dog. Yeah, my would. dad, my dad, he, <laughs> no, he would. He just would read it like him. Like, that's what I'm saying. He yeah, went, yeah, he yeah, went yeah, participate yeah. that far. I wanted yeah. to go. If it was yeah. no, no, no. If it if it was if it was on the line for us, if it was on the line for you, he'll do it. It's just I wish somebody had it on the line for it. Yeah, like, my dad, he gets better with it though, because over the years when I do auditions, he's the one that's reading the other people's lines. Yeah, so he knows that it like helps better at it. Yeah. Oh no, I know it do, but. He wouldn't yeah. have been funny. <laughs> Especially after a day of work. Like, nah, two in the morning? Nah, yeah, two nah, in the morning. Yeah, nah. Hey, shout out to dad. Yeah. Two in the morning yeah. is crazy, 2:45 dad. 2.45 in the morning. Yeah. Two in the morning, dad. Wow. Yeah. So Wow. I know you had a, to get up for work. A, it was a voiceover. Right. It was a voiceover. So I had to put on a character. So he helped me even more with that. So I'm like, dad, how would you say this? And he doing the most crazy like, <laughs> yeah. things. Like, so Real time. I know his good. energy. His energy. We was both tired, but. We had to get it done. We it was due today, so we had to do it. What's we the uh, it. what's the hardest conversation they've had to have with you? Where it's like you know being in entertainment, but they still have to reel you down to be like you're still a kid. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like like where they're just like ah, I want to let you, I get it that you're yeah. like super kid, but kid. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. It's hard answering this question because I feel like I'm in a. I'm kind of in a different position than maybe some other kids who grew up in the industry because some some kids may I don't want to make it seem like I'm perfect, but I, I know some kids may have a different understanding of of what they want or how they how they walk around or how they act when they're around family. So I don't think I've ever been the type of kid who's always been kind of I don't want to say stuck up, but having that kind of personality where my parents need to kind of calm me down. Yeah, don't say don't say so, uh, stuck up. Let's say entitled. Yeah, entitled, entitled. Um, so I don't think I've never had that type of conversation with them before because they've kind of, I've been with them doing it. So it's like, I've kind of went through it with them. So I think some of the things that we've talked about, especially had to do with Blackish and what we would talk about on the show. Um, Cause I was so young, a, a lot of a lot of times when parents have kids, especially kids who, you know, look like us or come from where we come from, mm -hmm. um, you may not have a conversation about something till I'm yeah. the age I am right or now it or until it happens. Um, so kind of me being on the show and we had to talk about some, certain things that I didn't know about, Damn. it was like it was time for them to, and I, I might have been 9, 10, 11 years old. Um, so for a them- teenage, a late teenager yeah, conversation. Yeah, exactly. So some when it comes to either just how I am with friends, what I wear when I'm around at night, whatever, that just all, all, all the above type of conversations yeah. that it could have been. Um, those kind of came early because I had to make sure I knew what I was talking about for the show. Mm -hmm. um, so by me doing that, they wanted to make sure I knew what I was actually talking about, regardless of the show. So it kind of introduced some topics that maybe could have been had later, but I'm glad we had had them now. So, so yeah, you feel like it was like an advantage for you learning them early. Yeah, I, I definitely think so because I don't. I mean, there's still going to be conversations that are probably going to be yeah. had that I still don't, might not even know about from, from right now. But Oh, my brother, you, um, I'm still having conversations <laughs> where I'm learning. You ain't going to stop that yeah, no yeah, time soon. Yeah, um, yeah, but I think I think it definitely was an advantage for me, just kind of me being the age I am now, and I know that some other kids may not have known or grew, grown up learning some of the things that I had to learn earlier. Um, and it's not like it was it was a fake conversation just for the show. Like, mm -hmm. oh, pretend like you know something like this for the show. This is what this is what the show is about. So you're gonna learn it. You're gonna learn these lines. Yeah, it's like, no, nah, this is hidden. Yeah, this is real life, and you're gonna implement that real life into what you're actually saying on the show. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I definitely think it was an advantage for sure. That's any and cool. any other conversation, definitely. Even 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 future ones I'm gonna have for future roles when it comes yeah. to things that may not have to do with with the skin or our skin color or some other topic that it might have to do with in the world. World that I think we're definitely gonna have, and I think it's 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 good for for actors, especially because you want to have the best authentic, you mm -hmm. know, you know, realization when when certain things come about. So yeah, or you got the authenticity yeah. down. Yeah. I got that. Yeah, yeah coming like that. back to talking a little bit more about being young and famous. How did you handle being a teenager and dealing with you know like social media, press, like the things mm. that we didn't grow up personally with, yeah. and you're you know a celebrity. You know, what's that like? Like coming up in that? Uh, oof. Yeah, cause we ain't had shit. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't famous at all. Nobody cared what I did till yeah. I got to college. Um, I think it's weird because I feel like I'm such a. I'm not gonna say I'm lucky, but I think it's. I'm different than the normal kid who came up in the industry just because I feel like certain kids who may have came up in the industry, they didn't experience what it was like when they weren't in the industry before right. or they didn't know that this is where I came from. But um, I've kind of had both, even if I'm, you know, I, I'm still no young. no way you had an Instagram that young. <laughs> I did, I didn't run it though. I didn't run it. That was all my parents. That was all a family thing. So that's another That's another thing that I'm glad I could so have. So when did you take over? So. Uh, how long has it yesterday? been you? Yesterday. How long has it been me? Yesterday. I'm gonna say, I was gonna own that. Um, when did you think, mom? Probably when I was like 13. Damn, you got oh, early okay. access. Yeah, he did get early access. Yeah, early. but I had my I had an account and everything when I was still doing stuff when I was like eight, seven years old. So that was a thing that- I oh, know, I get it, yes, but that's, yeah. you know, Juni got I wouldn't say 13 actually, cause my, y'all were still making sure things were cool. Like Juni like a cooler. I'll probably say me. when I was like 15, 15 oh. around that, I would, I would say I, I kind of- That's when you start like really- Just doing my own accounts, yeah. doing my own Instagram type thing. But that's another thing where it's like, I'm glad that it was like that. Real cause talk. I know a lot of other parents may have just let their kid just have their own experience on social media. It probably would have made me think Bug a completely different. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, shoot, if they can keep doing my account still, I'd, I would let them do that. But uh, I mean, certain things, I mean- You're just I, I know not I'm, attached to it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that's always gonna be uh, on social media. I'm only I'm only on Instagram when I need to post something or when, I'm, when it's time for me to post. I really don't go on Instagram like that. Yeah. And it's crazy because it's been like that for a minute and just me kind of being a kid, I'll be in the car, not on Instagram, or I'll just be watching a YouTube video of you speaking or a highlight reel yeah, or something I'm, like I'm that. I'm definitely a YouTube guy. Yeah, so YouTube I'm a YouTube me. person. I'm not more on Instagram. Yeah, so. YouTube got me. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. YouTube got a chokehold on yeah. me. Man. It's been had a, yeah. a chokehold on everybody. Yeah, anything but I, you yeah. want to see? Yeah, this yeah. anything. Because yeah. because I played basketball, I used to like before yeah. games. Like I have my film that yeah the team gave me, but my yeah. favorite thing to do before games was to watch other guys' highlights. Like yeah. I want to watch. I want to yeah. see who you are. Like, yeah. I want to yeah. see your your celebration. I want to see yeah. all the ways we got to break you down. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I want to see your bop, like, and I used to just watch like hours worth of highlights, highlight yeah. reels of people. I I know people highlight. I know what you like to get to, what you don't. Yeah. Um. So now, like, even though I'm not playing, I'm still just casually going on there. Yeah. Still yeah. looking at people yeah. highlights. That from, was yeah. our shit though. Yeah. Remember we used to watch yeah. like before all YouTube and all that. Yeah. I was gonna say to that could probably even been a thing before that. Like Come fly with me no, and all like, that. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. We had the yeah. VHSs yeah. with the, you I know. I need that. I need to watch them. slow-mo. And can't. we used to watch them all day <laughs> long. Man, yeah, all that. day long. That's crazy. Okay, I gotta bring this up. I know a lot of people may not know this. I don't even know if you remember this. But this was back on the 26 when you was on the 2016 team. You know I'm a big Cavs fan. What when you a was big on the fan floor? of you? Yeah, yeah. You remember that, right? Yeah. Okay, so I was about to say you was bite size though. Yeah, I was. I was way younger. <laughs> y'all don't even know this. They won the chip, and I went size. to I went to y'all's parade. You have you signed my jersey. I'm pretty sure Ooh. you signed my jersey. This was back when y'all won. I, I went to the parade. I knew Man, I had to go. You went to the parade too? Yeah, so I'm, I'm about to remind you right now. Yeah, I went crazy. to the parade. I'm the parade a big, y'all know I'm a big Cavs fan. He knows I, I go to all, no, no, anytime, anytime y'all in LA, I come to all the Cavs games. So I remember I went to the parade. It was like a back room and I knew I was really cool with um, JR at the time because I knew I knew him through one of the other programs I used to come up come, uh, growing up with. Um, and I was in this room with all of you guys. It was you, Braun, Kyrie, Della Vadova, Love, everybody. <laughs> Right, the whole team, and I was just such in shock. Like normally, I'm not one of those. I'm I'm always starstruck anytime I'm with another celebrity. I'm not. I'm not the type. I'm so fanboy. So I got. I'm pretty sure I got you to sign my jersey. I got the whole team, and I was witnessing in the back room before y'all went on stage to start speaking. Yeah. In the we all was in this big room. There was they had a whole um food service whatever, and I'm just chilling, witnessing some y'all ain't probably never even seen. Y'all was going over what y'all gonna say on stage, like all types of stuff. And yeah. I'm just here in the back, like y'all didn't even know I was really here. I'm just sitting like a big fan. So I had to I had to remind oh, you about that. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, him that that time I remember I went to um. Niggas was back there rehearsing. Real. Yeah, y'all was going over what y'all <laughs> was saying. Yeah, all they types of stuff. They definitely know yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I thought, yeah. well, you know, let's go out there and yeah. wing it. But usually, yeah. that's one the thing. Band, usually they do that. One sound. <laughs> one band. One sound. The fuck? 
Go how we coming. That 2016, we had our shit tight. Yeah, you know hear yeah, me? Yeah, our yeah, shit yeah. was tight. <laughs> we ain't playing that bullshit, man. That man. We down 3 uh, 1. You yeah. think we playing? We ain't playing. Yeah. We was so, on point, man. Yeah, they used Griff would come in there and give us the yeah. lowdown on what's going on. Let us know. We're going to be up here. We're going to la la la. Nobody talk over this. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We ain't got that much time. We're going to do this. We're going to knock this That's out. Crazy. And then we so out we here. saw all that. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, I don't remember everything that went happen. I'm glad you wasn't one of them kids that was like, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I wasn't Chola like that. I wasn't right like now. that. But, yeah, that, that, no, but yeah. usually that's like the real fanboys. That's usually how it goes. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm glad yeah, he, he, he says yeah. he's not like that, though. He lives in the moment. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. That's what he was. I'm so he was glad. Yeah, he was, he yeah. said, yeah. I'll really be in the yeah. moment. Fuck that's the wrong, though. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the it's crazy because while you sitting here yeah. saying that, it's just like pain in my head. Like, yeah. He also, though, he also got a little advantage, though. He doesn't have to worry about people being like, you know, him going back like, yo, I was in the room with all of them, and then they being like, hell. No, you wasn't. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, they believe it. Yeah, they believe it. Yeah, they with that. that. Nah, he be in there. That be is enough. true. And so that was one of them. I, I remember the other time was, I think it was Christmas, y'all's Christmas game. Well, we I remember they surprised up. me. No, this was 20. He said we got blown. Man, no, no, got no. I don't, I don't know what happened. In it was when we in Golden State. Yeah, it was in Golden State. I wore them copper. Oh, it was in Golden State. It was in Golden State. I think this is either the year that y'all won the championship or the year before. Um, I and I remember my, my parents surprised me with tickets to go, thinking we was in foreign, this, that's a whole nother story, but got surprised to go. I remember I went and I was, JR seen me again, he brought me back. And this was after the game locker room. I seen you, JR, Kyrie, the whole the whole yeah. team. That was a crazy experience we for me too. We all sat right there. Yeah, no, so. We had the same lockers every time we played them. Yeah. Nostalgia. I think they did win. Nostalgia. I think they did win that game. Yeah, I, think they yeah, yeah. I was high, I was tight. Oh, they beat us. I was tight. They, I don't know, they didn't blow us out in Golden State though. It was at home. They stomped us out. No, that was the championship year. So that was the year before that you're okay. talking about. Okay. That was the year before. Okay. See, Swish had you yeah. in there, in there. Swish. Yeah, shout out, shout out to him. Shout man. out to, was coming to, to the locker room. Shout out to <laughs> regular life. Yeah, you know so spending the night. Yeah. Um, what yeah. got you into basketball? Was it Pop? I know Pop was a musician. Pop was hooping too. Yeah. Yeah. He played. Um. I, I'm better than him though. He, he, don't Whoa, worry about that it. came oh, yeah. immediately. Don't worry quickly. about that. Yeah, don't Pop, worry. I didn't even ask yeah, him yet. He said, don't even worry about, about it. He was like, don't even worry about it. I had to get that in there. I had to get that in there. That's great. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What age did you beat Pops? Um, I don't know, because he started letting me win. He started letting me win. I, I do know that. I ain't going to lie. He did start letting me win. But now I'm like, I'm, I'm better than him easily, definitely. That's, definitely that wasn't the question him. though. Okay, 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 okay. If I had to say, I was probably... I could say I I started beat my dad in basketball probably when I was like twelve. Oh, that's early. That's pretty early. But it's not like crazy early though. It's not crazy. That's not crazy. crazy. Early. That's about time. Not like thirteen. That's about 13. time. That's about when I beat one pops. Yeah, yeah. And after that, I, I really honestly we didn't even finish that game to tell you the truth. I yeah I ain't finished the game. We didn't finish. I don't think we even finished that game. I don't we think just, my I don't think me and my dad took that as seriously because I know we did an episode about that. We did an episode where Anthony and Marcus, oh, you know, yeah, the father, yeah, yeah. they played, and I remember that was the first time Marcus beat Anthony in a one on a one v one, and it like it made Anthony's in the show his whole his whole mood was changed. He ain't even want to acknowledge his son. Like <laughs> he's, he's taller to him now. Beat him in basketball, Real all types tough. of stuff. So we it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that for us. But I know that's how it is commonly. Oh, it's yeah. definitely yeah, like it's, that. I know it's more than something. Yeah. It means something. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. The whole yeah. like not play me once I got of age is bullshit. The whole I'm older yeah. now shit is Facts. bullshit. I yeah. wanted that. I wanted yeah. that. It don't feel as good now. Like yeah. I could beat you now. So what? <laughs> It was like, if I could have got that ass when I was 14, where it was like, <laughs> I'm talking about my father, dog. Exactly. Oh, so, oh, man, I'm so, talking about oh, just a family. I'm talking you about get. all type of family. Just, you know, when you could just yeah. look him in his eye and he can't do nothing yeah. with you. Like, he didn't do that. He's like, talking about, yeah, yeah. He, he, do, my, he said no, he, he stopped beating him at 12. He was he looking, looking him in the eye like that. Oh, my mama, you yeah, but he knew I was going to beat him, though. He knew it wasn't like it was really competitive, competitive, though. It oh, wasn't like that. No, it wasn't okay. how he was saying it. Oh, I know exactly. Man, I know nah, what you it mean. It was war. I thought it was like the used to be on the right side. He used to be on the right side of the rim finishing with the left, bro. I'm like, dog, what's to you like? I'm come, I'm jumping. I'm finally Lay tall. Yeah, I'm yeah. jumping. Yeah, it was like right when I start being yeah. able to pin that. He was like, nah, what? it's over. Oh yeah, pinning, you if I was taller, I would have been like that easy. I would have been. He like, you like, oh, he's, he's still been. taller than you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. like six. He's like six three. 
Oh, then so, it's still yeah, really yeah, it's still a fair matchup. Yeah, it's still a fair matchup. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it, it got, wasn't anything like that. He can't that, really yeah. turn down a one v one with you then. Oh yeah, he can't. No, he do he do be sometimes though. Oh, recently. He the, yeah. Ah, he yeah, 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 ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, exactly. Ah, work. Ah. He gonna watch this and know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Plus he's not trying to go out there and get hurt. Oh, I feel it. So who your favorite who your favorite players in the league right now? Um, hmm. Right now? What's that? Hmm. It's crazy because, okay. You can be as honest as you want. Well, I mean, I'm going to still say LeBron because LeBron's still in the league. Which is unbelievable. Shout I know. Out to do. I, think, I think it's time to say it. Is it time to say it? It's always been time to say it. It's been time to say it since 2016, man. Come on. About LeBron. Come on, man. I hate when I y'all think it's do time. this. I, don't, I, I got to be the honest. This. I got to be the honest guy. For real though, because I don't, I don't, I'm usually the guy that got to say it. I'm going to defer to you. He the greatest of all time now. Oh. Been the greatest. Oh. Been he the really is, bro. Uh, I don't see no scratches on the man. I don't see no scratches on his resume, dog. Uh, <sighs> like I get it that he ain't Mike and he didn't win every time he got there. I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it that he left. Does that hurt you for real? It do. It do. It used to hurt me, but it's like pound mm. for pound, dog. I've never seen a human being this this healthy in my life, bro. Yeah, he an alien. I got a question for you. <laughs> like he, he not a human being. I got a question for you. So has has you being with him kind of changed your? I mean, it probably has. But I was okay. Is there any moment that you've had or a, a scenario with him that really made you think, oh, this might be the craziest experience that anybody could have with a with a basketball player, or saying how he moves? Because I know you. Yeah. I know you've talked about I'll him you before. One. I'll give you one. We played Boston in the playoffs, and. Um, I can't remember the set he called, but he called a set. It was basically us playing pinch post. Was uh, you, you got somebody just standing on the elbow, and they gonna play on the high post basically and square off, and we gonna have some cuts and yeah. some stuff on the backside. And Bron asked for this because he said, like somebody was like playing lazy on the weak side. He was like, no, he playing lazy. Like, but it was like to me. During was, that moment, good, right. I'm like, nigga, so like <laughs> he not even guard you, bro. Like right. that's on the other side. Like, right. but it was like it was bothering him. But what he was, to do with him, it did. He was mm. trying to drive into that area, and that man kept stunting and mm. closing that hole, and mm. it was bothering him because he said, if I go by this guy one time and get this dunk, then I can operate on the other side how I feel mm. comfortable. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Without the pressure that's yeah. coming from this side because y'all yeah. ain't worried because you got that man there. Mm. So he wanted that man gone. So <laughs> <laughs> they call a timeout and Bron says he wanted a shooter in there. I don't remember who we put in there, but we came back in with a lineup set for just this just set. Just that. Wow. We ran it. He threw it to the corner. They hit a three, mm. right? Now we was down probably like three points. It's like a back and forth with the trade. Okay. He threw it in the corner. We hit the three. We come down. They come down. They mess up. Hit a shot. What up? I mean, miss a shot. We get a rebound. We getting ready to push. He like no. Walk it down and run, run it. it again. Oh wow! But he's saying it like Boston quiet as really? fuck. Wow. They they ain't said shit. Like wow. They quiet because they like huh. Like, you gonna tell us all? Like, we know the play. He right. like, yeah. <laughs> he like, no, don't do that, stand right there. And when he said it, the man didn't know what to do no more. And I was like, bro, I've never seen power like that. Mm. Not like that. Where you know your job, and he just told you to play and then stared at you like, it was like chicken. Wow. He like, play chicken. You gonna stand there or not? Nigga moved. Drove it down the lane, boom. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> That's Come crazy. down, they missed another shot. Now we like, let's go. We being, you know, wow. we ready, we thirsty. That Cavs team, we was all thirsty. So we yeah, like, let's yeah, go. Yeah. He like, no, walk it down. Run it again. <laughs> Bro, no we way. ran this shit for the whole quarter and hit, he hit every option. Bro, I've never seen a play get, they, they called two timeouts. He and ran, still ran it. Dog, he ran it over and over and over. And I was like, this man played, like if I was a coach, mm. like he looking at the key on the post, looking at the coach, asking him what he wow. gonna do to adjust. Like I, the conversation on the wow. phone, I'm like bro, why don't they have this man mic'd up? Like that yeah. was my time it's of being cursing. like, 
Cursing. He really wasn't cursing, though. He was being a gentleman. Oh. <laughs> Tell you the truth, he That's was being new. a he was being know. a great That's guy. Crazy, he was being a wonderful guy that day, but That's it was crazy. just it was insane to see. It was like you know in the in the, in the league you like people hit you with a back screen and this and you yeah. like all these surprises. Mm. This was the first time I had seen somebody say, "Yeah, we finna run the same thing. Y'all can't do shit about it." <laughs> and he was saying it loud. We walking it down like we were walking the ball up. It's twenty four seconds, bro. We don't have. It ain't no trick coming. We have no trick. He like, you stand here, I'ma throw that over there. You stand there, and he knew what he I'ma was gonna dunk do every it. time. Yeah. That's crazy. You 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 shade this side so I can't dunk it. I'm a reverse pivot and I got a back door on this side. Yeah. You take away my back door, I'm finna come hand it off and play ball screen pick and roll with Delhi. Like it was like, dog, anything you do, you finna lose. And we didn't miss a fucking shot. I swear we did. We, by the time we looked up, we was up like 16, 17. What point. year was this? This was 2017? You said Boston, right? That's yeah, crazy. we used to have to play Boston all the time, though. So I don't know. It might have been, Joe. It, it wasn't. We had some wars with them, too. I want to say Kendrick Perkins was on the team. So it had to be. It might have been 2016. Mm. I just know the man was dog walking and we just That's crazy. He was telling T Lou, like, no, we like don't even worry about it. Like, yo, like you ain't got a coach no more, type yeah. shit. And I remember sitting there thinking it was some bullshit. I'm like, sure, he tripping <laughs> That's over crazy, the weak side, bro. dog. Who cares? That's crazy. He picked these people apart. He was he was doing the dickhead shit where he stand on the block. Hand, Delhi, hand, hand. <laughs> wow. Picture you guard. Man, picture guard somebody and he's saying hand. Oh man, I want it to be like if y'all don't play right. hard the defense That's on this. Right <laughs> if y'all don't foul this man, right. man y'all gonna let him do this to y'all. The whole crowd crazy, sitting there like, bro. you do it That's before you know it. Before I gotta rewatch that game after what you just told me, and I gotta rewatch that. That's oh, crazy. Bro, wait till you see it, and then you gonna That's see. Crazy. Wait till you see him talking. Like they, yeah, you ain't gonna be yeah. able to hear it. Yeah. But now that I told you that, watch the man. Yeah. He's going to talk y'all through it. And we he probably going, does that all the time too. Man, Shorty That's was crazy. saying, I done seen the man stand on the baseline. That's crazy. Lean back like this. He told K Love he was going to be open. Now, we all seen Bron throw this pass. Right. And this pass. Right. The man Behind was sitting. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking He it's was on like yeah. the third hash yeah. mark, bro. Yeah. On the lane and took that mind and tossed it down the baseline behind his back, yep. hit everybody back, and the man under the rim playing help side. I'm like, dog, that's ridiculous. Yeah. For that man to just pop that. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. <laughs> I said, that's hey, listen, crazy. Is that dog, enough? That's enough. No, nah, listen, this is the thing, bro. This is the thing, though, because I gave him, a, I give him a hard time, bro. I give him a, it's a hard time being better than Mike to me, dog. It's a hard time. You think so? But bro, when you break it down, the man got the most point of man in like every statistical yet. I watched JJ Tell Reddick him. clip the other day. <laughs> yo, when JJ Reddick broke it clip. down. Yep. He was like, bro, yep. we sitting here talking to clutch, we talking this, talking mm -hmm. that. And I'm like, bro, I start realizing it's like we done talked about it so many times, we really think it's a fact, and it ain't a fact no more. Well, right. That this man ain't the best. I, I really think if you don't think that he's not the best no more, it's something, it's something. It's like even it's something. If, it's something stopping you from real doing talk. It. It's like it's something. I'm, I'm to that I, and point I've, now. And I've, I've to that point. I've seen enough numbers. I've seen yeah. enough footage. I've been oh, on the court man. with the man. Yeah, I seen it all. I played against Kobe. I'm gonna defer. Whether that's I'm gonna cool. be, whether it's my favorite or not, is now the conversation. It's no yeah. longer. That's yeah. the best basketball player we've ever had to offer. If you want to say something about basketball, we got to say something about the man, dog. It's crazy. I still Euro step your ass, buddy. <laughs> Lay to death. Still Euro step you, but yeah, you, think, you the you best now. You think he now. would coach? You the best now. Huh? You think he would coach? He better coach. Because I was got one of the say, best man, basketball he, minds I ever seen. You know what I'm saying? He do it his he own coach, way. Man, that, that was the crazy. first person I ever seen ask for a ball screen from a point guard. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's crazy. What bro. do you mean? For what? He like, what? For what? Cause now whoever's guarding that point, whoever oh, was so guarding switch. my point guard, now you got to switch yeah, on LeBron, and your little six foot ass can't handle that. <laughs> He's about to come full speed. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Your big man about to get in trouble. Who gonna take that? Who gonna deal with that? The big man. That's what I'm saying. At the rim, though. Now you got to deal with fast LeBron at, the, at rim. the rim. Yeah. That's what I was like. Damn, why didn't I think of that? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> like, I would have never thought crazy, of that. Bro. I would have been like, bring that big slow motherfucker up in Waka. Huh? 
Huh? Still good enough. No, that ain't the only reason. We, we could break it down in a later episode. I'm just saying. <laughs> I was ready to have a conversation. We I'm was on the Cavs conversation. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm ready to tell, because Brian, said, you know, I gave you shit. I'm serious. I gave you shit, no, 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 but I'm you got the scoring record. Congratulations, my nigga. You are now the greatest of now, all wait, time. Why, why not for you? Look, he don't like it. That's a real case. Yeah, that's what he I'm saying. He saw the real thing. He know I'm a fan. He saw the real thing. No, 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 no. I told you, I'm going to defer because I'm not going to. Because he realizes gonna, there's no, for the sake of the argument, he it's has. It's just nothing, bro. No, no, no. It's no, no problem. No, there's, there's, there's tons of things I can say. And here's the thing. If, I if can you say. say. If you say something for Jordan, and this is what I came to realize, too. <laughs> if you if you See, say something, in, if you say something, if you say something in favor of Jordan, I realize most of the things you could say, he's not the best at what you're trying to defend Jordan for. Who? Jordan, I'm saying if you try to say rings, he don't have the most rings. No, 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 he got the most, I go get the ring. Yeah, but no, I'm no, saying- No, 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 let's, let's be okay. clear. No, 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 we're gonna be clear. We're gonna be very clear. Mike has the, I'm going to get the ring. Like, if we get the ring, it's cause Mike's on this team. No matter who's playing. That's the difference in the most rings. There's a lot of niggas that got the most rings, see, but bro, they I'm were missing. assembled with a team that had enough niggas that could help go get the motherfucking ring. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people were saying Scotty wasn't that good, and then he got with Mike, and niggas was like, but you had Scotty. It's like, but y'all wasn't jacking Scotty at yeah, all. Yeah, but he left. They still made a conference finals. You tripping. Huh? What, he when left, Mike left? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm not tripping. Oh, I was a Bulls oh, fan. Oh, we was busting all oh, ass. Oh, 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 what you mean? Oh, about, I was on the rooting side. I was about to say. Yeah, but I'm saying what nobody was jacking Scotty before he got yeah, with Mike. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, he got better, and yeah, he became something great, and that's cool. Like, we love Scotty all the same, but it's like the reason people talk about the rings is because it's like you saw us go to the Eastern Conference mm -hmm. Finals. What was missing? Yeah. yeah. Now. Okay, but you can say that same thing. You can say the same thing for Braun, though. What? If he if he wasn't on the team, what the only was, thing Bron messed up was when he left. Yeah, that's what that I'm saying. was our issue. You left, <laughs> and now everybody else is leaving. Like everybody's leaving. People are taking flights all the time. Yeah, that's like, crazy. There's the bro. most flights ever, bro. Like nobody lives there. Everybody just that's leases crazy. their cribs. Nobody buys cribs anymore. They're just renting. Everybody's wow. renting. You know what I'm saying? They're renting cars. They have rental cars. They're not even. You know what I'm saying? They're not leasing, huh? Player. I mean, uh, MVP and defensive player in the same year. He was supposed to get yes. defensive player of the I ain't gonna year, lie, though. bro. They, he was supposed on, to bro. get it. You know he was supposed pick, to get it, bro. I don't pick him. Oh, no, don't you pick don't. Him. And that's the issue. That's the issue. I, I feel like if y'all was picking it, oh, then Bron would have had a defensive player that's of the year. That's voter fatigue. Yeah. Bron could be the MVP every year. It's I'm just they don't want to do that. I didn't say he couldn't. I'm just saying what's, like like I said, it's that JJ Reddick. It's the JJ Reddick interview that comes into my head every time I start doing it. And I realize when he brought up the numbers, I was just like, God damn. Most clutch time points ever that's what he said i just want him to i honestly at sometimes Brown, we just want you to be bald and wear 23. <laughs> yeah it. bro just be bald and wear yeah, 23 and then yeah, that's mm. not happening I that's think it's unfair. That's what Ari wants, man. This is he what wants it is. you to wear. No, don't do be it, bro. Be bald. No, wear 23. No, be bro. You see what I'm saying? Don't give me the, Mike, give me the big shoulder no. suit. You know, Mike no. kept the big shoulder suit. His shoulders was don't big as it. fuck. Yeah. I don't know why he kept the shoulder pads. Bron, don't do it. Huh? He can't do that. He can't do what? that. No, that was the he style back that. then, though. You know, <laughs> no, I get it. That was the Montel Jordan. Like, you got to, yeah, no, you got to step out for real. We got a we got a a connection. My bad. My bad. My bad. Stumble away for for. We got a connection. Dancing with the stars. Yeah. yeah, you did that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was a part of that. It was wonderful. Mm. Uh, Y'all dancing with the stars' uh, siblings or brothers? You did Young siblings. Dancing yeah. with the Stars. Same. Yeah, Y'all dancing yeah. with the stars. Siblings dancing brothers. Yeah. They're the dancing brothers. <laughs> what was that experience uh, like for you? It was definitely, I mean, I've always been a fan watching when I was growing up. So for me to, for them to reach out to me to be, to be a part of that was crazy. I will say it was, I did feel lucky because I came from dancing. It wasn't, you know, uh, ballroom type dancing it was more like hip hop style, but I think my experience, my background with that definitely helped me. Um, it was just a new language, basically. It was just a new language, how to get used to that. But I want to know how that was for you because I don't know if basketball helped with that. Oh, hell yeah. Um, for me, every dance move is a basketball move, mm. like in some way, shape, or form. Mm. Not even a, sometimes it's not a, like an actual move, but the footwork will remind me of something that I would have to do in basketball. Mm. Whether that's a, a exercise in the weight room, uh, I don't know, having to split a ball screen, like just different movements. I'm like, okay, so what's she like? You gonna here, right foot, 
out and then turn and here I'm yeah. like, damn, that's damn near like a Yeah, the All timing. Right. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just like, in my head when I'm learning the eight count, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? One and two and walk and spin move. Uh, uh, and yeah. Catch and finish. Uh, it you probably know? made probably made it easier for yeah, you to yeah, we that's be, crazy. We'd be on the dance floor and Daniela would be doing the shit with me. Like That's crazy. <laughs> She'd be like, yep. That's a rhythm. <laughs> Yoga pose. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we in full record. That's People crazy. like, why y'all laughing like that? I'm like, we that's how we learned the steps. So we just kept doing it. That's but fire. I had I think I just had an incredible partner and even like her husband. Her husband, um, even after he putting in extra hours with his partner, he mm. coming over there helping me because I'm like uncomfortable yeah. trying to keep my posture and still feel like yeah. myself. Yeah. And he like, like you know, just nonstop, just a selfless person. Like, yeah. cause he's supposed to be in competition. I'm like, bro, you better than me. I'd be trying to beat you mm. right now. Like, right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like you got a super right. head start Stop on me helping. and now you trying to help me. Stop, Stop helping me. me. Yeah, you right. trying to help me win. Like it's yeah. kind of crazy that you doing that, but he's just yeah. like a, a wonderful dude. Like Posh was just, he was awesome. And then like they whole staff, like I know you know, like yeah. their staff is, awesome like everybody behind the cameras like i used to mess yeah. with the camera guys like joking around just and know. one thing i didn't know because i used to always watch one thing i didn't know was the rehearsals was real real rehearsals oh yeah mm. and i used to always be like the type of person oh, you always, thought it was like reality show type mm. shit. yeah yeah yeah. i used to think but like bro i used to have to get up mad early in the morning go to rehearsals as soon as i get there we filming straight filming oh, yeah. the whole time i didn't think it was gonna be like that they're like can you wear this mic yeah exactly yeah 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 <laughs> that's all they're gonna say to me that's all they say to me how and early boom. they had you out I remember I used to have what, like, what was my call time sometimes, mom? Sometimes it used to be 7 a.m. I used to live farther God away though. Damn. Oh, so you had the mic. Yeah, God. so mm. that was that was tough. But I mean, it was always fun. It was always worth it. Ever since I stopped, I, I miss going back. I wanna I wanna go back with my partner and actually do real competitions. Real yeah, real competitions. That that was a goal that we said while we were doing it. Like later on, we gotta we gotta run it back. We gotta because we'll be better than what we're doing right now. So me and you gotta Danny. do that. No, nah, me and you DJ, gotta join me a real and DJ was like real honest with ourselves. Like yeah, after this season, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Me and DJ she was, was tired like, of real, like, nah, she nah, was tired of you. Was like, it was a moment. <laughs> she was tired like, of you. She knew it. Like, uh, it's a moment. Like, it was done. Like, that's cool, too. We won. We did our thing. Like, we did the tour, and she's like, yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? If yeah. we ever did do something else, it would just be like, just creative fun. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it would just be to put out some content to the world. Like, yeah. I don't think we'd ever do something like competition. Like, me and, I don't think me and DJ could take it serious enough. Like, well, <laughs> honestly, we can't, we couldn't take each other serious enough, but she yeah. would, she would definitely start to take the competition serious, but knowing her heart, this that man it's, doesn't it's, care. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, so it's so your fault. Cool. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay. Like, yeah. she would be like, he's so cool with sixth place. Like, it's not even funny. Like, even though I want to win, <laughs> but it's just like really bad. I'm just saying, like place? you could give me sixth yeah. place in the world for dancing, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't expect to be number one. Sorry, Daniel. In the world for dancing, <laughs> but DJ, yo, is. yo, basketball comp competition might come in though for that. Yeah, that's I mean, what I might come oh no, in. That's so. what came in for dancing with the stars. Yeah, I really was, yeah. I really was winging it for a while, and then we did yeah. uh, that us dance, and me and DJ really while. wanted to get mm. like we was like, no, nah, we getting a forty after we just did all this. Practice? Oh no, we finna yeah. kill this. Like, fuck did you that. ever feel like the judges was? I don't remember your scores at the beginning, but did you feel like the judges was like they was Once overdoing they, you or underdoing oh, yeah, you? Yeah, yeah they, they was were, hard on me. I yeah. expect that. Okay, like, but I also knew I like some way. of it was like I was supposed to be. You know, it's a certain posture and a certain look that comes with ballroom dancing, and I was like the save the last dance character. Like I just mm. had a little more hip hop in my shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, yeah. Just yeah, had yeah, a little yeah. more bounce in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just need some seasoning on yeah. my, my Thanksgiving food. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Like, that's all. That's all. You cooked the whole meal with no seasoning. <laughs> I was just. Ouch. You know I mean? I was just <laughs> Ouch. You just put salt on afterwards. <laughs> like, yeah. what you doing? I'm just saying, like, you could tell when they made the ballroom structure, they made it a certain way so it could be scored, which I don't oh, know. I know. Yeah. You weren't yeah. in mind either. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, with me, it's like, yeah, I want to be scored correctly, but I don't know how to, like, make it not look good. I, I want it to look good. So it's like, some yeah. of that is like, even when I start enjoying it, it's like that posture would leave me yeah. at times because I'm just like, now I'm having fun. Right. So it's like my elbow might not be like this. It's like, nah, we vibing, we right. vibing. You feel me? But they like, yeah. nah, point off, point off, point off. Yeah. <laughs> like, they was like, so I got it. I understood. I understood. Yeah. But y'all better than me. I just want y'all to know that uh, <laughs> having that structured 
Yeah, uh, dancing. it was hard on us for practice too. That uh, was what I had to learn. That was what I had to learn because we had a. I had my my partner and my coach because it was a juniors. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, so I you had, wasn't trained ballroom. No, no, I was I was doing all hip hop dancing. So that's why it came in. That's why it made it a little easier for me because I had that hip hop dancing experience already. So it kind of it was like a different uh, language. That's what I was saying. Yeah. So I had. Where a, were you when he said? That? No, 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 no. I just I, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't take it as I didn't take it as that. I didn't I didn't take what he said earlier yeah. as that. Yeah, no, he yeah, said yeah. he ain't had no formal I, background. I, didn't do, I, I never did ballroom before that. It was all just hip hop dance. But I'm saying like you didn't have they didn't teach you anything prior to Dancing with the Stars. You just was like you just popped up on Dancing with the Stars. Oh like, yeah, how learned you... it straight, straight, straight on that. And was another hard thing too, is I think it was because we did I think nine nine dances, nine different rounds. I think on my sixth or seventh, mm -hmm. that was when Blackish came back to filming. And I remember, I would we were not sure how that was gonna work when we were planning Dancing with the Stars. I realized oh I might be coming back to Blackish midway if I'm still going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so so we like, had to find lose. a way. We had to find a way. I had to practice either like through Zoom sometimes, I was on set, I'd be on set on Blackish practicing with her. And we mm -hmm. said, we did this whole thing. We, we used to practice on there. Sometimes we would just wing it, just go go the day of, and we would just try to get, we just wanted to make sure we memorized the, the dance steps. We didn't have to get the posture a hundred percent, but yeah, I was on set a lot of those times. I think Damn. like the seventh, eighth round. Yeah, so I didn't. I, I didn't have practice nearly enough time. Crazy. Zoom are practice you, for for ballroom is ridiculous. That's what ridiculous. I'm saying. Like trying to do that. Ridiculous. I remember. Uh, are you Jimmy used Allen to Zoom? Was doing that. Yeah, You're and that's used another to it. thing. Yeah. it's crazy because ever since Zoom started to, to be a thing, like with meetings, or whatever, yeah. I still haven't not done a Zoom meeting before. Like ever since then, mm, like mean? like ever since you know things closed down, like uh, the you pandemic. Know, pandemic, like oh, you still zoom. I me. still I still do Zoom meetings whenever I'm doing producer meetings, whatever. It's I, it's still Zoom. It's crazy. I think people kind of got used to that though. Yeah, people yeah. definitely. A lot did, of people I, do. I feel like. like a lot of people like it. Like yeah, that. I don't yeah. like. It. I don't like having to travel. Like, cause you lose right. like four hours traveling to the meeting. <laughs> yeah, like if you and got I'll do eight multiple meetings, meetings like, in a day, so yeah, that's another thing. Like, yeah. you got yeah. five meetings that day, bro. You're. Yeah. Oh no, I get it. It's in just LA. Uh, exactly. man, but damn, you trying to dance through the Zoom. Oh. Yeah, that, that that was crazy. Dance through the Sometimes zone. That's it's crazy. Forced. Yeah, that's that's a force. He said that's yeah. force. That's yeah. force. Yeah. He had to yeah. do it. That's I had no to do choice. it, and we yeah. did good too. We did good too. That was another thing. That was just what you place. Um, I think we had. I don't know if we had third. Oh, okay. I don't know what it was. It was it was a we got all the way to the final round, and I remember they picked in between four, and I yep, think we had yep, third. That's how they do it. So. Man. So, that, that's how it went. Shout out to you. I, I, I feel. I, I don't know if I feel. I'm not gonna say how I feel about where I should have placed. You don't agree with it. How would you? I, I, yeah. I'm not, I don't. You don't agree. even have to tell. How would you? We know you don't agree. Was, how would you feel if you were sixth? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixth place. I <laughs> What's with the not. sixth place, bro? <laughs> I wouldn't be happy with sixth place as you would have been. Weird obsession with the sixth place. I feel bad for anybody who plays sixth for anything wanna, right hey, now. One of my movies, I'm gonna get sixth place, man. Yeah, one you gotta day. do that. And you gotta what? Do that. what do you yeah. do I'm after that? Where it. do you go after that? I'll just be proud of it. Like I want you to like. Do you get a sixth place, no, or do you just get kicked no, out? Exactly. That's you don't get a place man, after right? like yeah, after yeah. like third. There's no place. Yeah, there's no place. I know, but that's what's funny. So how do you even get? It would just be funny if you came. If you thought like the game went good, I kill. I hit the last shot. Bye. And you realize I hit this shot for us to play six. <laughs> you gonna get yourself a banner and trophy. Six that be points. no, no. That's like that and meme. Trophy. It's a meme of somebody celebrating and they're on a pedestal and yeah. they zoom out and he's on like the fourth place pedestal. Real yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you gonna be six? Yeah. No yeah, that's funny. That's funny. That's, that's funny. funny. Line that's funny. Line yeah, that's funny. Yeah, you know I'm like, gonna integrate that in like, the No, don't do that, Miles. Don't do <laughs> I'm that. I'm gonna get minute though. I'm gonna get minute. No, no he playing with your career. Do <laughs> nah, not <laughs> do that. <laughs> hey man, what led you? It's a good story. I think that's a good story. Speaking of us being, exactly. Speaking of us being producers, you know what I'm saying? He's not a producer. Yeah, he's not a producer. What led you to starting your own production company? And what type of projects are you looking to produce and willing to produce? Um. Well, we started we started coming up with it in the pandemic. So I remember, well, we we had ideas that we wanted to start working on before then, um, but clearly, pandemic just gave us way more time by ourselves to just start thinking of different stuff to do. So um, we came up with that. We're gonna start actually rolling out all the stuff about it pretty soon. Um, but it's 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 a way longer process than I thought it was for producers to make a film or make a show. Like way longer, years years in advance, just to do it, it'll take to do a one movie. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm just the type of type of what I want to start doing with because it's it's ran by me and the family, so that's that's the main thing. That's our, you know, what I'm saying. So um, I think the main thing we want to do is just do stuff that 
we know that isn't probably seen by a lot of the other films that are kind of being made. And just things that I know people or kids like me can especially be inspired from and start wanting to be more creative with whatever they got going on. So uh, whether that's comedies, dramas, even like horror films, thrillers, like all those type of stuff, I would, I would be willing to do. I don't even have to be in some of them. It could just be where I'm just producing, having my own cast, what I want. I just want to be able to make something where I know kids can watch it. Not meant for kids, but something where it can be that kids can watch and still be inspired of it. Even if it's a horror film or a rated R film, PG thirteen so, all the PG-13 way. PG thirteen film. Yeah, yeah you're exactly. have my daughter ready because she don't yeah. care about that PG thirteen <laughs> R. She don't care. She, she all desensitized. Boy, she trying oh, to watch. Man. She's trying to watch. She wants media. Yeah. She likes it. Uh, <laughs> she yeah. wants media. Freddy <laughs> Cougar. Like she wanted that. Like, this is, that's what yeah. she wanted. Give me your uh, your dream acting role. Dream acting role. That would e- I would easy. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider Man. That's the that's the wow, number one. There we go. That's the number one. He know. Look, look, look yeah. Look, not look at his yeah. face. Nah, he could play. Hey, go ahead, keep going. Yeah. They'll let him play. You don't even know yeah. who he is. He light skin, but you don't know who he and is. And the thing is, so Miles is crazy. So Miles Morales, he's he's um. Is he light skin? Yeah, but he's mixed. He's Afro Latino. I'm I'm half Hispanic. My mom my mom's side is is Mexican. Right, but you didn't so, know that until he just said yeah. it. He said, I should have tried to be Miles Morales. I told no. him. He could have No, 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 no. Me. See, he, he see, been a tall the mind Miles is Morales. a crazy thing. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said you could have been in the movie. Oh, okay. oh like, See, that's what character just, though? Oh, he could have been Spider-Man 99. You could be, or 2099. Oh, you're talking about the animated. The blue yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. He knows, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Cool. Hey, they, they, they got a whole universe of, of Spider Man. He bro. don't pick up a comic he book, been man. NBA he just, Spider-Man. See, there you go. Well, bro, he don't he dunk know, it on the rim. Y'all, y'all, y'all rim. playing around, Joe. It's <laughs> now no, you mad? You was just out here no. vibing about dancing and pirouetting and yoga poses. I can't talk about Spider Man. That's a goddamn. He could be, be Spider Man. It's a shame. It's a shame. Full of Spider Man. He could be whoever you want to be. No, don't be Spider Man. Leave Spider Man alone. You can be whoever you want to be, man. out. Is there a universe of Spider Man, man? How many are there, bro? Yeah, bro, you ain't see the it's called into the a Spider-verse. multiverse. I thought it was three Spider Mans, as in the no, boy Spider Man. No, he grew up a little no, older. No, no. That's this one in this no, year. No. He grew up a little older. That's the next one in do the it, next Miles. year. Do it. You know Just the, tell the, him. the, the yeah, animated the animated one. You remember the animated one they had into the Spider Verse? They had like in the movie there was mad. He there was a whole universe it. full he of, of Spider Man. He didn't watch it. He didn't watch it. Yeah, bro, you gotta watch it. A universe full of them. Yeah, bro, it's a multiverse, like a multiverse, different different multiverse. He don't understand that. Like, yeah, they just. You, you ain't it. seen the last one. They had they all three. Yeah, they had all three Spider Man's like in the last one. They just taking y'all money. <laughs> it was. It's on Netflix. You can just watch it for free. It's on Netflix, right? Yeah, yeah you just watch it now for free. Money. Yeah, bro. Got y'all Come buying on, comic bro. books and shit. Go free Sadiq, yeah. man. Free <laughs> Sadiq. Free Sadiq. He ain't seen Spider Man yet. He'll be out when he see that. Miles, yeah. man, we are gonna get you out of here. We've had you for far too hey. long. Mama ready to go home. She's tired of this. Yeah, she. Yeah, she. We like to ask all of our guests. No problem. We like to ask all of our guests. What you're working on improving in your personal life right now? Personally, mm. well, that's a good question. I think just trying to figure out, because I know I'm just finishing school, so that whole college discussion is a whole nother thing. So that's probably the main thing I'm focusing on with my family or going over right now personally. Um, and just figuring out how I want to go from what I've worked on earlier, just integrating that and being staying staying a kid, not letting that get ahead of me. Um, and I think that comes in different, different, whether that's through acting, through social media, just not letting any of that outside world mm-hmm. get to me. And I think it's still going to be a challenge no matter what, but that's the main thing I'm always going to be working on no matter what, what, what project I'm doing. So, yeah. yeah. That's fire. Yeah. You're doing good so far, man. So far, so Hopefully, good, my yeah. dog. Hopefully. Is yeah. there anything before you get out of here you want to promote, push out to the people? Yeah. Um, Hey, just just be stays. Everybody, stay tuned. It's gonna be crazy. I'm I'm excited for the things that we're working on right now. So, everybody, y'all gonna see exactly what's gonna be. You know what we're gonna be putting right, out just in, the, wait in the next for year. It, so I'm excited about it. that. Let them know where to yeah, follow man. you. Miles yeah. Brown, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. If y'all even go on Facebook, right. that's what it be. Can we? We, <laughs> have, we can follow the production <laughs> company yet, or that's we not, don't have that public yet. That's what I was gonna say. We gonna oh, start, rolling, public. That okay, my start man. rolling that out yet soon. So I'm letting y'all know before we even get that public. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so well, y'all gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let everybody know we gonna and it's it's gonna be fire. It's, it's gonna be fire. Okay. So, Sorry, I'm excited yeah. about that. We didn't mean to Tyrese your deal. We're not, <laughs> <laughs> we not making you lose a billion <laughs> on you. No, you good, you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> y'all good, man. Y'all okay. gonna see everybody okay. soon. All right, we're not yeah. fucking up Miles money. Thank God. Yeah, yeah man. y'all good, man. Hey man, y'all one good. time, give it up for Miles. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank Miles. you for having me, man. Woo! Miles Woo! Brown, aka Miles Morales. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's get him in that movie with uh, a thousand other Spider-Man. <laughs>